Subscriber areas are now live at foottrading.co.uk. Tier 1 and Tier 2 have both gone live. And don't forget this year we've got our season pass. Incredible value. It basically works out about four or five months for free depending on the tier that you're in. Uh, we've got more site areas being added every single day. We've got icons on there now. We've got golds. We've got shadows, anchors, uh, hunters. We've got silvers going on very soon. We've got position change trading going on very soon. So make sure you check the website out. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. Over half of you that watch the videos aren't subscribed. So make sure you get subscribing. Help the channel grow. It makes a massive difference. Please do take the time to drop a like and comment down below how you guys are doing in Weekend League. If you haven't started Weekend League, it is nothing, nothing like Division Rivals. The gameplay is abysmal. Um, I'm not enjoying it, put it that way. But it is what it is. We've just got to keep grafting that out. Just trying to get my seven wins and that's all I really care about. But tonight is all about how we go about um, making coins. And the whole market is down, 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 down. Um, and it's a really, really nice market in order to, to get some coins uh, made. So let's talk about simple things in, in terms of investments. First things first. If there are any team of the weeks from this week's team of the week that are nearly discard price tonight, buy them, okay? Um, basically, team of the weeks, no matter what they are, cannot, cannot, cannot make a loss when you buy them at discard price. There's nothing you can really do to lose out on coins from them. So someone like Danso, for example, is discard price. There's no real risk involved in him, and I'd be stocking up with one of each in your club, okay? Now, someone like Danso... He's a usable, a very, very usable card. A lot of people like him. A lot of people talk about him. And if you can hear the dogs barking, I apologize, but not much I can do because we have people coming around to the house. Um, but if I just show you, you can't really see my camera at the moment, but I just want to show you people like Danso that are discard price here. He's going to be infinitely usable, infinitely usable at some point in the game. And no matter what happens, they're going to be needed for SBCs later on. And so I'd look at all these guys that you've got here. Smalling, again, discard price. Klaus isn't far off discard price. Demarcos, discard price. These SP, these cards will go up within a few days once the major supply ends. Right now, the market's low and it will, it will hold low for a little bit before bouncing. I look the, like the look of someone like a Timo Werner, um, 41k for his left mid card, right? Now, tonight, we're going to get a lot of supply, a lot of interest in these cards, but loads of these guys are going to be packed, okay? Loads of them. And as you can see, 77, and he's just dipped off from there, basically, and gradually, gradually dropped with people getting panicky. These are the sort of cards that I'm going to be looking at. Hopefully, pick them up in and around the 30k, 32k mark if we get enough supply from packs. It all depends on the pack supply, realistically. Uh, but people like Team Over and those Team of the Weeks could do really, really well. If you haven't got many coins, then focus solely, focus solely on the discard guys. You can't really go wrong. Now, when you're looking at these cards and you're looking thinking, right, where's my value? All you've really got to do is check their graphs. If you're seeing a continual downward trend... I would compare them to their gold cards. Now, obviously, you guys can't see this, but I'm going to look at Timo Werner. And his 82 rated card is 4,000 coins, right? 4,000 is all it is. But it's a striker. Um, can play left wing as an alternate position. The left mid is miles better than this card, in my opinion. There is a lot of boost on it, which is good. Um, and so if he gets down to that sort of 30k mark, that's when I know to buy it. Because I'm thinking, hang on, he's come down by 25%. And that's the drop I think you guys want to be looking for tonight. It's 25%. Now... Where I think the market will get hit hardest, or has been hit hardest really, is in these sort of mid-tier sort of cards that get packed quite often. These 84 rated cards that get packed quite a lot. They'll see a dip tonight. They'll see a dip. Now, I don't know if they'll bounce back significantly, purely on the basis that there's going to be so much, so many of these cards packed, right? Tamori, Lorente, uh, Varane, those sort of guys, all right? Where I think the market will fly tonight is in anything more expensive than 100k. Over 100k tended last year to see a massive, massive rise. So I'd be looking at the likes of, if you've got the coins, those sort of Harlands, those sort of cards like that. I mean, Harlands are relevant actually because he's team of the week, but that sort of ilk, Salah. Um, Marquinhos could do quite well for me. I reckon as time goes on, he'll, build, he'll boost. People are going to build their weekend league teams tonight. There's a lot of people that are holding off. I know that from experience. A lot of people have held off on building their teams. And so now is the time to think, okay, cool, where can I put my coins tonight? And I do think it's going to be in those cards that are maybe a little bit higher rated, that aren't going to get packed as often, people start to improve their quality. People now go from those mid-tier cards to those high-tier cards. Having said that, if we look at someone like Klosterman here, he's going to get packed a lot tonight. I don't know where he's at at the moment, where his price is. 
But this card is going to get packed a lot, a huge amount. And it would not surprise me to see this card dip into the 2k, into the 2k realm. It wouldn't surprise me. I, he won't hold that low. It's an 86 rated centre back. I cannot see this card holding that low for that long. Um, I don't think he's going to get up to much more than what he's at right now. But someone like this, when you're low tier, if you can pick him up in the drop of shadows on him, or any card like this, we're talking the likes of Joe Gomez or whatever, if you can pick him up in the drop of shadows, it will be an extremely profitable way to make coins tonight. Because what will happen is, is they will all come down, every single one of them will come down, and then they'll start to climb again. And as they climb, the ones with shadows get bought off the market quicker, so their price tends to rise faster. To any usable card like this Klosterman, like any other card, they will do very, very, very well. And I, I don't think there's any real risk involved in it if you can get them low enough. Again, look for that 25% drop-off. That's always the key point for me to do it. Now, I do just want to say there are SBC solutions on Footbin. Again, I can't show my camera because Streamlabs is messing up. I don't really know why. But on SBC solutions on Footbin, um, there are loads of different SBCs. And the advanced SBCs are crucial tonight if you want to make some easy coins. If you go somewhere like Hybrid Leagues and you click on this, the SBCs that are most expensive, you want to take a little look at these cards and just see the recur recurring common players. Now, I know Oscar is one of them in so many teams, okay? Once you've got to here, where's the player prices? Prices list. Is it going to show me them? No. Don't know why it's not doing that. Refresh prices. Normally shows you the price of the players, but it's not going to show me it. Either way, you want to see the same cards reiterate over and over again. And the ones that reiterate over again are cards that would be good to buy tonight. Those cards that hold the 900,000 coin marks, 1,500 coin marks on 81 rated card. These cards all do really well because what happens tonight is they get spam packs like crazy. Everyone packs them, packs them, packs them, packs them. They dip in price and then loads of people will go and compete the SBCs. And so people like Oscar, Alessandrini, um, I'm trying to think who else, a CDM from Panathinaikos that's... Everyone uses him 24-7. All those SBC solution cards that you can see there, you'll be able to see them all there, they will all do really, really well again tonight. All you've got to do is wait for the drop, let the 25% happen, ideally on these guys even more if you can, buy loads, bid on loads, and flip them on. Finally, icons. I've got some icons on my transfer list, and I'm not panicking. They have gone down in value massively. Um, I've got a Nesta that I picked up for 210 yesterday, which was a good buy price, buy price yesterday. And look at him. He's down at like 200k now. Right, he's way below what I paid for him. I'm not going to panic. I'm going to chill. I have no reason to panic in any way, shape, or form. I've even relisted these guys because what I think will happen tonight is the market will drop. Then, as people get coins, as a coin injection, bang, market rises. And I've got no qualms. And I think icons could do really well tonight. I think they could be very, very solid, very strong, and a really easy way to boost your coin total if you're on the website number one and if you know your icons. If you know how icons work and fluctuate. You can work really well with icons. Again, look for the 25% drop off in the last 24 hours. Then you can buy and then flip on. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.